Antonio's story, his journey, his view, touched me in many ways and made me think of so many that are trapped in Antonio's journey, who want to dream and want to know how to get out, but they don't have a Curtis to motivate them and let them see that there's another way. I think of Antonio's mother and the depression and the stress and the financial challenges that she has and the ads that encourage everyone to smoke and how you go in the store and there's just so much cigarettes and the blunt papers and the everything and that the children are not only getting secondhand smoke or lead in the water but they're also getting the marijuana smoke and so much that they're dealing with but the mama is sitting there just gazed at the tv trying to take a moment out of her own life that's the journey of so many parents whether we know it or not because many of them don't have Antonio's mom and dad's journey, she's there doing it by herself. I think of the depression that plagues too many, the mental health challenges. I think of the man from Brown Deer. I think of the burden of the everyday journey of Antonio's journey without a way out. I think of the mother wanting her son to grow up and be a man, but how many don't have anyone to show them what that is? I think of my son on the streets trying to find his own way and I, I think, I think of the time he was just trying to be nice and go six houses away and take a turkey to a neighbor and stop by the police for being a little black boy. His turkey thrown on the ground, questioned and thrown against the car, put in the back of the squad, whimpering. I think of the pain that he experienced. And I think I'm the senator, I'm a lawyer, and even I forgot about the pain that he experienced. And how all of those things are inside. And how that, in Antonio's journey, he speaks and talks about how that turns into anger and what that looks like and how they then make choices on a street corner with some individuals that completely can change their lives. And I think about they just want a way out. I think about not just the parents and the children, but the fatherless children who are fearful and don't know and don't have a connector and don't have a Curtis. And I think of the mass incarceration cycle that they end up in in a state that leads in mass incarceration in the nation. I think of the dumb choices that they do on reckless driving. I think of all of those things and I say, wow, how can we hug them and rock them and support them and help them to make other choices. <sighs> How can we do it? Can it be done? And I say, yes, it can. With some hope and some encouragement and just the ability to see because just watching and seeing that there was a dance and a rush of the place where something was happening, there could be a dream. I say, let's help them dream. Let's help them see so they can make different choices.
that's what I see.